Okay, so welcome back. Uh, you can see that I have gone ahead and put a line right down the middle. Um, and what this is going to do, we're basically going to look for that line and line it up in each of the holes, lining it up on our paper, lining up the gusset, and then um, once we have it exactly where we want it, we can either do our best to just kind of put pressure on it and hold it in place. Um, what I have found works is just to get a, try and get a small clamp on it if possible. Um, because what we're gonna do is go ahead and drill our holes. So I'm starting out with an eighth of an inch. So I have it lined up exactly where I want to. Um, and don't, don't worry if you kind of mess it up just a little bit because if you mess up one hole, you can move on to the next and re-drill it where you want to. So I'm gonna just double check that it's exactly where I want to be. So this is also, um, I found to be a pretty helpful tool. This is called a Clico, uh, and I will, I can put a link in the description to where I got these, but um, it's basically a temporary rivet. So this, uh, if you've seen a rivet before, this is what a rivet looks like. So. A rivet goes in and it's uh, a little bit more permanent. To, to get a rivet out, you have to drill it out. Um, but with these, these come with this set of pliers like this. And when you push it in, it kind of shrinks a little bit so you can get it into the hole. And then once you let it go, it it clamps everything in place really nicely. So I'm going to go ahead and drill the rest of these and kind of put in some Clicos as I go. Okay, so we've got this front section done. Um, everything is drilled, but if you notice, I haven't put Clicos in every single hole um, because I actually am going to use some rivets um, and you will, you'll see why in just a little bit. Um, one thing, if you are going to use eighth inch rivets, um, these ones are aluminum because I am going to drill them out eventually. These are just to kind of hold it in place while we flip the whole frame over. Um, but you'll see exactly what we're going to do in just a little bit. But if you do use the 1 8 rivets, um, you may want to use a number 30 drill bit instead of a 1 8 just because uh, number 30 is a few thousandths bigger. And so the rivets will um, go in a little bit easier. Um, like this one, it's just a little bit tight. Um, just something to uh, think about if you are going to 
use rivets. Okay, so I've made some good progress, as you can see. So that's one I still need to do. Um, but I've been putting rivets in just a couple of them because what we're gonna do after we get everything in is drill these one size up and then uh, flip the whole frame over. Um, so let's move down here. Put in the tripod. Um, okay, so it's it's definitely easier to drill your first holes if you can somehow get a clamp. With this one, um, I was able to get a little bit longer clamp since it's right at the edge of the table, but um, you just wanna make sure everything is lined up exactly where you want it. And uh, I just, I like to just go and use kind of my hole and my gusset as a guide. Um, You can even use um, a center hole punch just to kind of get you right in the center of the hole just so your drill bit doesn't wander. But I found if you go slow enough and uh, the, the gusset keeps the drill bit right in place pretty well. Clico and uh, continue the process. Okay, so I have all of the gussets installed on one side and drilled to an eighth of an inch. So now what we are going to do is every hole on this side that doesn't have a rivet I'm going to drill up a step to uh, 3 16 Our plans call for uh, quarter inch bolts to go all the way through. So what we're gonna do is drill all of the blank holes up to 3 16 flip it over, um, and do the same thing on the other side. Install the gussets. Um, we can use Clecos on the other side. Uh, but then we will drill up to a quarter inch um, and you can see what the plan will be when we get to that point. <laughs> 